It was over here. The pineapple was? Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. We drew the pineapple. Yeah, please don't record me. I don't, you don't have my consent to record me right now either, but I know you're going to do it anyway, so whatever. Anyway. You guys need to learn the law. Ponder. Oh, you're wrong about that Ponder. law. We looked it up. Ponder, that's um, not your pineapple. Okay. He knows, he knows it's not his pineapple. He doesn't fucking have any pineapples. Anyway. Wish you did have some pineapples. Dude, I've grown a lot of pineapples last year. Last year. Last, last year I grew like 40 pineapples. This year I've got maybe like right, fine. Well, 60 you coming. Back on that side over there though. You guys ready for farmer's market tomorrow? Um, yeah. yeah, we have all kinds of stuff to sell. Anyway, I don't know why I'm still here. I'm going. Take care. They're sitting there harassing and taunting people right now. Yeah, you probably, probably should back run to up, property. probably shouldn't run up on somebody and that's... And you're illegally recording me again. Yeah, you probably shouldn't run up on somebody who's like I harvesting their fruit from their yard. You're also I mean... illegally recording a child. You anyway. like illegally recording children? Yeah, I don't, I don't think. The property line is that floor paint and you shut that. that. You agreed that that was your property line. You did. Go back to it and, legally and you did so in court, which kind of fucks you over because. Yeah, in court. Now, I'm in court. Why are you an idiot, Yeah, you're actually yeah, you going to go back to the I'm harassing people. Yes. I'm harassing people. You just charged somebody for grabbing the pineapple out of the house. I'm harassing people. Yeah, you charged me, Ponder. Do you think it's funny? Yes, yes, it is very hilarious. You know, I remember you from two years ago. It's honestly sad looking at you now. What's sad? You, you're not healthy and... You, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to speak... I'm in the best healthy. shape I've ever been in my life, man. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I notice I don't try to stop you from doing anything, man. You're fucking doing your own thing. This would like a bag to put this fruit in. Did you bring over a bag for a chance to put this fruit in? You really didn't just steal that pineapple from my fucking property? No. I just saw you walking. My property, dude. You said it was a free zone. Yeah, but I grew that pineapple myself. I grew that pineapple myself. Not this one. Show me. Go harvest the pineapple and show me what you grew. Well, go look. Go look in your yard and see if your pineapple is still there. Because I can guarantee it is. As long as some other fool didn't steal it from you. Anyway. Thank God. Um, <laughs> wow. Yeah, like he's going to fucking do something, bro. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Wacky Wednesday is tomorrow. We're gonna hey, have. Connor, you know nobody's gonna fucking show up for your shit. Come on. I mean. Let's get real. If we make signs by the road, then people will turn in and they will come by and they will get fruit. And then we will all start making money on all of the plants we have been growing and all the fruit we have been growing yeah you're just gonna keep it over there for now and then when we feel like we want to you know have a farmer's market over here we will we're not ready yet like as you can see there's not a whole lot of fruit around here I have shitloads are you kidding me there's fucking shitloads we got shitloads of produce man we're gonna all we're gonna all get rich together. Yeah. Alright. What else did you have to say? Go back on that side of the line. Yeah, there you go. 
This is my wheelbarrow. Oh. Well, get it back on your side of the line. This is my side of the line. No, the line's right there. No, you see that tree? That tree right there. Whatever. And it goes all the way to the back. Which put the corner of... Can you just move, move, move that? Which move put along. the corner of Crunchy's house on that line. Don't worry, you can your wheelbarrow back. These are Annette's plants that are in your wheelbarrow, apparently. So we'll get your shit back on it. You can have your wheelbarrow back. I'm sorry if you commandeered it for a moment. There you go. All right. So we're going to have... Be on your way, please. Be on your way. Ta-ta for now, Mr. Jaguar Doll. Bye. Thank you, love. Oh, and by the way, if you're filming right now, which I don't know if you are or not, you do not have permission to film. Yes, I do. Do I have permission to film you? Yes, it is a consent, one person consent law. Yeah, the person filming cannot be the person that's consenting. But you'll all, you'll I'm, find about, out about this in court, Ponder. I'm pretty you sure. You Michelle, Mr. Dale Colbridge. We are establishing the line and I have every right to film whatever I want on my land. Well, you're not on your land right now. I actually, in public, in public, and especially on my land. Someone's going to learn their lesson the hard way. Sad, sad. Jim's going to prison for five years. I forgave him. And I would have been willing to just not show up in court yesterday, but... Yesterday morning, I said, we were talking about some things. We were talking about the UFO thing, uh, the UFOs and all that. And I, I was just like, you know, I mentioned, I was like, of course I didn't deserve a rock in the face and blah, blah, blah. And he actually had the gall to say, yes, you did. I was like, like nobody deserves to have their fucking teeth knocked into shattered pieces. I was spitting out pieces of glass and teeth and blood. It was crazy. Nobody should have to deal with that. Because he said I made a face at him? I was like, why did you do that? You made a face at me. Well... I don't know what planet we're on, but making a face at someone can make you like deserve getting a lava rock thrown through a glass window at your fucking mouth and have two holes through your lip all. Then I don't know. I don't know what is right or wrong. You know, that's pretty fucking weird. That, that makes no sense. That makes no fucking sense. But, you know, we will see. These fuckers want to steal my wheelbarrow. Steal my fucking fruit. I'm trying to throw a farmer's market and here I catch them stealing fruit from my land. <sighs> Like, I was gonna help them. We have the farmer's market up here. We're all gonna make a lot of money and a lot of friends and have a lot of fun. These people have lost their fucking minds. I don't get what's happening. It's like Uncle Wit has been asking me for months. Every time I go over and talk to him, the conversation ends up going to this one point he's tired and old he's feeling exhausted from trying to manage all of this trying to vet people and have people choose you know choose who's going to live in what cabins and whatnot it's a big job and he's been asking for help with management and here i am landowner part 
you know, like we're shareholders on the same LLC and tenants in common. I'm allowed anywhere on Witt's side. I'm allowed anywhere on Simon's side. These lines that we drew only establish it's a gentleman's agreement and that gives us rights on what trees to cut down and, and grow and what buildings to fucking build and, and you know who should be living there that's like that's pretty much the gist of it you know it's not that big of a deal it's land it's open land and it's a free world so I don't know what the fuck everyone is so fucking pent up on, but I won this fucking case against Simon and established very clearly that I am allowed to be a garden temple and allowed to use it however I want. I don't... It was stupid for me to wait for years with him terrorizing me and trying to establish his power over me through threats of violence and all this shit. Because he was afraid. Instead of just working with me and realizing how much we could accomplish if we were just working together. Ah, God. So anyway, I, I won the case against Simon. And then the very next thing I do is show up at the town meeting to tell Uncle Wit that I'm willing to be the manager of the land because I've got some great ideas. Oh my god. And I declared myself chief of the love tribe. And nobody argued with me, even Uncle Wit. Like, you're right, you know? There's a video of it on YouTube. Ah. But somehow, like, all of the people that lived at Wit's End, once they realized that I was in charge, they all kind of realized how, how big of fucking assholes they've been to me. And they're like, oh shit, the guy that's in charge, we've been treating like a fucking piece of shit. And, you know, they're freaking out. That's what's going on. That's why I got a rock in the face. That's why all these people are all, all of a sudden, trying to make up all these lies and slandering me and trying to stir up as much shit as they can to fucking ruin my life. These people think that if they can ruin my life, that I'll leave. And that I won't be in charge and they'll be left with this old dying man and then they think that they'll, I don't know, whatever, pillage the shit out of his shit or something, I don't know. But, yes, um, I don't know what the hell's going on. And now look at this, look at this. The next crazy chapter is happening right now. Hello, hello. Well, what's going on with this? Oh, lovely, lovely. You made a gate for me. Oh, thank you. Oh. Can you please get off my yard? Um, yes. I don't consent to being videotaped. All right, then. My five-year-old daughter. Please go. I guess I'll stop the video now, then.